Welcome to ATEC Training's Quick Start Video Series. Today we're going to be featuring the Model 1810 Electricity Trainer. It's a very unique trainer. It's a state-of-the-art computer-controlled or standalone unit. So we're going to go ahead and go over the basic features. So get out your operations manual, get your 1810 trainer ready, and let's get started. As you turn the operations manual to pages 6 and 7, you'll notice that ATEC offers multiple configuration options. This is option number one, and it can be a little confusing, so I wanted to take a second to kind of explain in detail how each of these are, are different from each other. So if you'll notice here in option one, there's a full pictorial diagram that lays out that all of your trainers are going to be companions with a laptop, and then that laptop is going to be either wired or wirelessly connected to a network switch which is then controlled by a master or an instructor PC that is running our classroom management program. That's option one, and then this is ATEC's recommended option. But if you need a different setup or need less equipment to maintain, we do offer configuration option number two, which is where your trainers will use a keypad for student input in lieu of the laptop and then the units can still be uh, wired together with one of our hubs and controlled with a master or instructor computer utilizing our classroom management program. These units can also be used just as a standalone unit as well without the networking feature where you'll just use the keypad and the board, but if you choose to go that path, you're not utilizing all the technology that's built into these trainers. And we, again, we do recommend option number one for the best results. Once you've selected your appropriate configuration, you're ready to start looking at the parts and pieces on the trainer board. Starting on the left in the middle, you'll notice we've got our battery with our terminals for our positive and negative side, along with a resettable circuit breaker. We have a momentary switch right here. We have a full battery of resistors, including two 120 ohm resistors. Here in the center, you'll see featured a relay, followed over here to the left by a rotary switch, down here on the bottom, we have four different light bulbs and each, uh, there's two light bulbs of one resistance and two light bulbs of a separate resistance value. So that way you can run uh, different series and parallel circuit training activities. We have a uh, multi-pole switch here, followed by a little horn. We have a DC motor and another momentary switch that can bring your circuits to ground. So this makes up all the parts and pieces. Now let's get a look at what you need to get everything plugged in. Before your electrical training sessions can begin, you have to get all of your cabling hooked up properly to make sure your trainer is going to communicate with the laptop and that your laptop will then communicate with your classroom management program. So to begin with all that, you have to first start by supplying power to your trainer board. Your kit does include a 120 volt outlet plug that will plug right into the back. Once there, you're going to have to reach down behind here and look for the master power switch and you're going to get that turned on. Little red LED comes on to let you know that your board is now powered up. And if you're utilizing the laptop, there is an included USB cable that plugs into the back of the trainer that you then must go ahead and connect to your, to your PC. So once you have your power cable on and your trainer powered on and your USB cable plugged in and into your laptop, you can go ahead and start your laptop up and launch the ATEC software and we're going to move right over and see what that looks like. To move forward with getting your software started, make sure your Windows PC is fully loaded and go ahead and click on the ATEC icon on your desktop. That's going to bring up the login menu. You do need to assign all of your users a proper user ID and a password. If you need additional help with this type of information, please check out our full video series of the Classroom Management Program featuring Tony Salas as he goes through the entire ins and outs of how our CMP program works, which is the instructor version of the software we're using today. Once we get our ID and password put in, we're going to click log in and it does take just a second uh, to get launched up and today we're working with the 1810 SC electricity. So we're going to click on that button there and from there we're going to be able to go ahead and go through progress view and look at all the different activities that we have available for our students to begin working with. So if you're a student and you're sitting down and working on this, if your instructor has assigned you a specific section, you're going to want to move to that. Or if you're just working at a self-paced process, then go ahead and just pick up where you left off 
before. So I'm going to go ahead. It looks like I finished 36 to 36 on electrical components. So I'm going to go ahead and launch into voltage, current, meter, and series circuit information. And to kick off the first lesson, you just go ahead and click on the first link. And that's going to go ahead and launch. And if you'll notice, it's going to start a series of animations. There are no uh, audio along with the our animations throughout our entire courseware series here. That way your students don't have to have a headset in order to actually uh, participate within the training. Uh, each segment um, or each section of this is going to go through a, a battery of animations, um, courseware um, descriptions, um, item specifics as well as asking engaging questions along the way and keep in mind each time you make progress on this and the screen is finished you just click the next button in the bottom left hand corner and that's going to move you forward to the next slide so at this point it's going to go ahead and ask our students to do a uh, assignment here and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like on the board as we move over to it as you follow along with the computer-based instruction, you'll be prompted to perform activities on the trainer itself. As you can see in the screen in the corner here, we're being asked to measure the trainer's power supply or source voltage. So to begin doing that, we're gonna utilize our meter and make sure that we have it set in the correct position and that our leads are hooked up in the correct area. We're gonna start by taking our leads. We're gonna place one lead right here on the positive side. We're gonna take the other lead, place it right here on the negative side. And then we're gonna get a voltage reading of about 12.66 volts. And that's gonna indicate what our source voltage is going to be. And then from here, once we've got this activity complete, we'll click next on the computer-based instruction software prompt. Now that you've completed the on-trainer task, go ahead and look in the bottom left-hand corner and click the next button. And you'll notice that the animation kicks off talking about different types of batteries and how different types of batteries produce different amounts of voltage. And the students are gonna be able to monitor and look at uh, the different voltage readings on the digital DVOM. And then once the animation is complete, you'll be asked a series or a question, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. And you can go ahead and click what you think is the correct answer and click the blue box and it'll turn green if correct or if it's red it'll give you another chance to try again. Thank you for joining us today with our quick start training video series on model 1810 the electricity trainer. If you've enjoyed our, your experience today or would like to know more about how this unit works, we do offer monthly training sessions at ATEC Training in Walton, Kentucky. Just go to our website, atechtraining.com, click on the link at the top, and you'll be able to see the future dates. Please be sure to check us out on our other social media pages like Facebook and LinkedIn, and we'll see you next time.